The first case we're going to consider is how do we find the pH of a solution that contains the, the acidic form? So that would be H2A plus. Um, what is the pH? That's the goal of, of what we want to find out. Okay, so what's uh, what are the equilibria going on here? Well, as we just saw in the last video, our H2A plus can dissociate into H plus plus HA, right? And that'll be given by Ka1, and then HA can dissociate into H plus plus A minus, and that'll be governed by Ka2. So the question is, how much do we need to worry about these reactions? So Ka1 is already pretty small, right? This was our pKa value that I listed before, uh, whatever it was, uh, 2.344. That's pKa. Oop, and I wrote that in the wrong one. But pKa1 is 2.344 pKa2 is even smaller, right? So pKa2 was 9.868. What we can say then is Ka is pKa2 or Ka2 is really small and pKa Ka1 is quite small. What that means in terms of what's happening with the equilibria is that we only get a very little dissociation here because this is a weak acid just like what we saw with you know uh, acetic acid when we we're doing the vinegar calculation or other things like that uh, which means that this is a really weak acid and we're not going to see a significant amount of dissociation of the ha into h plus and a minus long story short what that means is that this equilibrium is our primary source of h plus and th we only need to worry about this one We can use the second equation to figure out, you know, roughly how much a minus we have in the, and we'll do that. Uh, but the if we if we have a completely protonated species, we can treat it just like we would a regular weak acid equilibrium for monoprotic species. So let's go ahead and do that, and just walk through this calculation again. This is you know very similar to, in fact, it's the exact same as what we did in the last chapter. So say we have a 0.1 molar solution. Uh, that means we, you know, we can write out this equilibrium H2A plus. It's an equilibrium with H plus plus A. We can write out an ice table where we start with zero of these. We lose X, we gain X, and we get 0 0.1 minus X, X and X at equilibrium, and we can plug this into our Ka expression. So Ka is going to be 10 to the negative 2.344. This is using the pKa1 value. Just converting that to Ka uh, will be equal to x squared over 0 0.1 minus x. So this is the same, the same approach we used in the last chapter. Uh, we can go ahead and solve this. I won't go through all the details for this one, but we get x equals 0 0.019 molar. And remember that's equal to H plus, which then we can put into a pH calculation using the negative log base 10, pH is equal to 1.72. So we get an acidic pH as we'd expect. Let's think about what happens uh, in that second equilibrium and were we justified in ignoring it to find the H plus concentration. All right, so oh, another way of saying that is, what's the concentration of A minus? All right, so we use Ka2 which remember will would be concentration of H plus, concentration of A minus divided by concentration of HA. Uh, but we already know a couple of these values. Uh, we know the concentration of H plus, that's just gonna be what went into our pH calculation here. And actually the concentration of HA is the same because all the H plus that was produced also produced HA. If we go back up to this equation here, uh, right X up here, let me go a little bit further x here 
represent in both concentrations, both the concentration of H plus and the concentration of A. Oh, that should be HA. Sorry about that. All right. So what we can say is that concentration of H plus is 0 0.019 molar. Concentration of HA also 0 0.019 molar. So we can put those into our equation here. Those are going to cancel out, and concentration of A minus will be equal to Ka2, uh, which was 10 to the negative 9. Point whatever it was, <laughs> 9.868. We can calculate that, and that is equal to 1.36 times 10 to the minus 10 molar. So we were justified in ignoring that second equilibrium. This is a very, very small concentration. Almost none of the HA goes on to a further dissociate. And that little bit of H plus we'd get from, from that dissociation is negligible compared to the H plus we get from the first reaction. So we can treat the, uh, monopro the, the fully protonated species the same way we would a monoprotic species to consider the equilibrium and find the pH.